car and had to spend days at the DMV. Oh, man. Could have spent, spent more time preparing this gorgeous forecast <laughs> that we're watching. Here's the one caveat we see. Low pressure. It'll slide to our east as it does that. Tomorrow, Wednesday, we'll pick up perhaps a shower or two between about 9 a.m. through 6 p.m. This is our friend, at least if you're looking for warmer and dry weather. It's always hard here because, yes, this brings 70s and 80s, but it also, given the storm right behind it, brings some gustier conditions and fire weather. So some changes, let's say, will be headed our way Friday through Saturday, or Sunday, rather. We're talking temps 15 to 20 degrees above average, but that will come with the trade-off of some fire conditions. So let's unpack the temperatures first for the remainder of the week ahead. The roller coaster is headed up. Saturday, we peak at about 80 degrees, so that would be Denver's first 80-degree day of 2024 so far. And then we start our downward trend as per usual. So temperatures today, I told you I don't like to use the word average, but compared to the remainder of the week, we're within a degree or two of where we should be. The sun is out, the winds are calm, and we are dry today. 64 will be the forecasted high in the Denver metro area, same out towards the majority of the plains. Some 40s and 50s out across the foothills. Same holds true for the high country, Jefferson County. Looking at temperature 62 apiece. Wheat Ridge, Lakeside, Edgewater, Lakewood, 60 degrees over in Ken Carl. Evergreen at 53. So portions of the foothills, you're still dipping into the 50s with the sun out in full force. The remainder of the day, not a cloud in the sky for at least the day part, 63 through 6 o'clock. So, hey, you know what? Lunch break, I'll say go out and take a walk. But if you can't, after work, take the dog go out by 6 o'clock. We're still sitting pretty at 63 with some sunshine. So, Futurecast, what are we tracking? No surprises today, overnight, tonight, rain and snow showers for the foothills. By the morning, here we are, 8.30 through noon, they begin to spill over. So a quick burst of rain for the metro, the front range, and the plains. But it does linger. It's on and off scattered activity, so you won't see rain all day. You might not see rain at all, but there will be several cells developing on the radar. And our current guidance does want to indicate Denver, Fort Collins, Greeley, you all do pick up on this activity. It quickly clears the qu clouds, rather, quickly clear with that as well. So Wednesday, tomorrow, as I showed you, we are watching some of these showers. And we'll take the moisture we can get. And here's why. We generally continue to warm through Saturday, and we are bone dry and sunny Saturday and Sunday. So these will be first alert weather days, possibly, given the high critical fire weather, rapid fire growth will be anticipated. But do take a look at our temperatures for the day on Saturday. I won't rule out some upper 80s across the southeastern plains, likely low to mid 80s for the northeastern plains. Here in Denver, that could be our first 80-degree day on tap. So do stick with us over the next few days. We will keep you posted with, again, the high fire potential looking about four or five days out. So something will be really breaking down over the next few days. All right, uh, Joe, we appreciate the, uh, the update. Thanks. Always.